Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this December 2nd, 2023. It's being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. Hard to believe we're in December now, but here we go for the last month of the year. What's it going to bring weather-wise? Well, over the past week, certainly right around that Thanksgiving holiday time frame, there was some very cold wintry weather and quite a bit of snow in some of the central Rockies in parts of the interior west, especially portions of Wyoming and Nebraska and parts of high country of Colorado picking up some significant snow. Now it's the mountains, which are a bit behind average with snowpack. Snowpack is low in most of the Intermountain West, at least to date, but that will change. Heavy mountain snows this weekend from the Pacific Northwest through the northern and central Rockies, parts of the southern Rockies will get into the snow as well. And uh, we're going to see that as some cold, moist air off the Pacific moves in. Now, once we go through an active weekend of weather in the west, we'll have high pressure move in for a few days, probably three or four days next week. The western United States will have quiet weather with high pressure moving in, rebounding temperatures. We'll see the wind slack off and the precipitation take a break. But... Late next week and next weekend, we've got another stormy weather pattern that could return to the west, starting in the Pacific Northwest in California, then heading into the Rockies and Western High Plains as we get into the weekend of the 9th and 10th. And that'll be something to keep an eye on. Over the last week, you can see where that Thanksgiving storm produced the weather. Basically, all of the northern areas right here, this is pretty much exclusively and mostly snowfall all in that area there as the cold air got pretty far south. We had some very heavy snow, as you can see, in parts of central Wyoming, one to two feet of snow in the low elevations of central Wyoming out of that storm. And you can see the front range areas along the divide and east of the divide. Some good snows across Nebraska, parts of Oklahoma and Kansas getting their first significant snows of the season. This is what the snowfalls looked like over the last couple weeks. You can see how far south the snow got. And as we go into the next week or so, you're going to see that this area right here is going to be in line to pick up the snowfall. And this is what the snowfall coverage looks like as of late this past week. Snow on the ground in the Rockies and into Great Lakes, but widespread snow cover hasn't settled in yet into the region, at least for the northern tier. But we'll likely see that changing in a couple of weeks. In the last week, we had talked about this when we updated you last week that the map this week would look a lot different. Boy, does it ever. For the last several weeks, we've had a lot of red on the map across the lower 48 states as temperatures for a good part of November were above average for most of the nation. But in the last week, certainly temperatures have turned a lot colder. Now, we're not going to be this cold relative to normal over the next week, but still a little bit chilly. Why? Because we have a very strong energetic jet stream coming off the Pacific and through the Pacific Northwest, Western Canada, and in the Rockies. You see I've got three snows all lined up here. This is snowfall, heavy at times, over the Cascades, the Bitterroot, the central and northern Rockies, and parts of the central and southern Rockies. Wet weather will continue here along the Gulf Coast, and colder air out of Canada will help feed the development of significant snows in the Rockies. By next weekend, this is by next Saturday, we've got another low coming into California. Now this storm needs to be watched it could end up being wet for California, parts of the Great Basin, parts of the southwestern United States. This is by next Saturday, a week from today. As that system heads east or a little bit northeast, it could end up being a weather maker along the front range of the Rockies by late next weekend or the days following. So the weather pattern certainly is getting more busy. And this is what we see over the next week. Between now and next Saturday, this is the heavy precipitation we're showing you in the Pacific Northwest into the Central and Northern Rockies. These are the showers that will be developing by late next week and next weekend, getting into the Great Basin, the continued wet across the nation's midsection. And snowfall wise, this is the heavy snow that will help the snowpack in the West here over the next five to seven days. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you next week.